Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Heavy Kwans from Taste of Asian Food. Welcome back to another episode. And today I am at a different occasion. As you know, that it is not the common place that you have seen where I'm having my cooking. In fact, now I am in Auckland, New Zealand, visiting my son, and I'll be here for the next three months. Yesterday we have lunch at one of the Sichuan restaurant nearby, and uh, we tried their stir fried potatoes. That is tu dou shi, which is a Sichuan food, and it is simply delightful. And I intend to recreate this recipe today at home. So I head to the Asian grocery store and get some uh, dry chili, some Sichuan peppercorn, some chili oil, and surprisingly, it is so easy to get all these ingredients over here. Let me show you how to prepare the Sichuan style stir fried potatoes right now. To prepare the potatoes for stir frying, let's wash and peel them. Then cut off one side of the potato and place the flat side down. And then slice the potato into thin strips of equal thickness. Next, spray it out on a chopping board and cut the potato into strips. Place the potato strips into a pot of cold water to remove the excess starch. And then I'm going to change the water several times. I've changed the water several times and now you can see that the water is crystal clear there's no more extra starch and I'm going to leave the potato strips in the water for another 20 minutes to remove any excess starch which helps to increase the crunchiness during stir frying after 20 minutes after soaking remove the potatoes and drain them in a colander Meanwhile, let's prepare other ingredients, the spices and the aromatics that we need. Let's slice a few cloves of garlic, some Sichuan peppercorns. Please refer to the recipe in the description below the video for the ingredients, and the quantity of the ingredients that I use. And a few dry chilies. You can use red chili, fresh red chili, but fresh chili has a different flavor if you compare with dry chili cut the dry chili into half and remove the seeds you can leave the seeds there if you want to make it extra spicy of course also a stalk of spring onion separate the green and the white section cut the white section into small rings for stir frying And also the green section, cut it into small rings and use part of them um, for stir frying in the last minute and reserve some for garnishing. I've prepared all the ingredients that I need, the potatoes, the garlic, dry chili, Sichuan peppercorns, the green onions. To stir fry the potatoes with some light soy sauce, some salt, some Chinese black vinegar, chili oil and add a little bit of sugar. Since I'm doing all this outdoor, so it's getting sunny now and I'm going to get back to the kitchen to continue stir frying. Heat 2 tablespoons of vegetable oil in a pan. Add the Sichuan peppercorns and let it fry over low heat for about 1 to 2 minutes to extract the flavor. This step will infuse the oil with the flavor of the Sichuan peppercorns. You can leave the Sichuan peppercorns in the stir fry, but I do not want to leave it there as I may accidentally bite onto the Sichuan peppercorns. When it's done, remove it and let it strain through a wire mesh strainer. Pour the peppercorns oil that we have prepared just now into the wok 
and I also like to add a little bit of this Sichuan chili oil called Lao Gan Ma it has all the flavor of the spices of Sichuan food which is pretty useful and convenient to cook any Sichuan food now saute the white section of the spring onion the garlic and the dry chili until aromatic now let's add the drained potatoes into the wok and let the oil to coat each strip of the potatoes Season the potato with salt Black vinegar Light soy sauce And tiny bit of sugar Mix well and turn up to high heat to stir fry the potatoes and do crisp and tender the time required really depends on the amount of potatoes and also the heat of the stove it is best to stir fry this over high heat with a high power stove with a cast iron wok but with an induction cooker is still doable keep stir frying until most of the water has evaporated and the potato should be crunchy at this time let's do a taste test let's try okay now it's crunchy finally add the spring onion give it a few stirs and dish out garnish with more spring onion to serve That's how to prepare Tu Dou Shi or stir fried potatoes, Chinese style, Sichuan style, and it is crunchy. Let me try. You hear the sound? And if you want to get a recipe, I have included the recipe in the description below the video. And don't forget, subscribe tap the notification bell and give me a thumbs up and i will see you again in some other similar video soon bye for now